Maria, thanks. Continuing our coverage on the proposed thruway toll hike, I was looking for more reactions from lawmakers and quite frankly, not many wanted to talk about it today. The thruway authority met earlier today and approved the plan for a proposed toll hike. The next step in that process is a public comment period. In the last two hours, I reached out to Assembly Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes, Senator Tim Kennedy, Senator Sean Ryan, and Senate Minority Leader Rob Ort. None of them were available to answer our questions about the toll hike. Within the hour, though, I did speak to Senator George Borrello about the pro proposed toll hike and tried to get a better understanding about what the legislature can even do in this situation. You know, I, I really would like to know what happened to all the savings that we were supposed to experience, the Thruway Authority was supposed to experience by moving to cashless tolling. You know, this was supposed to be you know, removing all the toll barriers and uh, hundreds of toll takers across the state that were no longer needed. Uh, how did that translate into a savings if here we are, what, a year or so into this and now they're talking about hiking the tolls? So what's the legislative oversight here? My understanding is that uh, it would have to change the whole the whole uh, authority concept uh, in order to do so. And, and, and there's already talk and there has been talk in the past about you know, somehow changing that. Um. It's also important to note that the Thruway Authority does not receive state or federal funding because they are a fee su uh, supported entity. So all that infrastructure money that Congress passed two years ago, the Thruway Authority can't even tap into that. Coming up on the town hall, Senator Borrello talked about one of the ways the legislature could provide more oversight to the Thruway Authority. Kate? Thank you.